Peace and love. See you later, kids. Yeah, Hackett's Quarry forever. <laughs> you know how many hearts are broken on the last day of summer camp? It's like a romance apocalypse. Yeah, well, I mean, they're just kids. You know, they'll get over it. Uh-huh. Like they'll get over Emma? What? That's not the same thing. <laughs> oh, so that's not why you're in a bad mood. I'm not in a bad... Oh. <laughs> you know what? We had our last night together, and we're cool. Oh, yeah. So cool that you're never going to see your special little boo-boo bear ever again. Jesus Christ, you heard that? Oh, come on, dude. The cabin walls are made of Band-Aids and rat turds. <laughs> okay, I get it. <laughs> Hi, Emma. Hey. <laughs> okay, this is, um... You've heard of spatial awareness before, yeah. right? Spatial awareness is for nerds. Uh, be a lamb and grab the last couple of bags, will ya? Yes, boss. Say hi to Emma for me. You're a bad person. Yes, I am. Um... Were you? According to reports from the local paper, the North Hills, <clears throat> some hay bales caught fire during the open. Hey, what do you uh, what do you listen to? Before they knew it, the whole place was up. <laughs> Good to know. So the old lady that was at the start is kind of like Jesus Christ. The consultant you have. Hey, hey, are you guys then. gonna help with the bags or what? Oh, um, you know, I was actually just working on fixing uh, the door. It's Dylan, come it's on, broken. Dylan, please. I can't. It's. it's I gotta get the last bags What's in there. Come wrong on. with this thing? It's just Dylan, closet. please. <laughs> cool. Thanks, guys. So it started in 1973. Cool. I can't use the door. I will come through the window. Oh, skill. Parkour. I don't like this person. This is really cool. Winter, are you still here? If you are, look at how cool this is. Carnival poster, why can't I look at it? Is... Sorry, it looks like an Ouija table and I'm confused. Wait, can I go over there? Sorry. Sorry to this person, I've got you in all kinds of angles. Boxes. I see a bear. I knew there was a bear in this game. Bear. I'm gonna name him Winnie the Pooh. Okay, someone would like their food, I guess. I just came out of that door. Can I go anywhere and everywhere? No, I cannot go into the void. Cool. I'm going to...
freezer. Man, that's a bad place to get stuck. That's... Oh. That's foreshadowing something. So I, I just picked up a tarot card. Cool. Tongs. I'm not a void. I can't enter. Can't enter the voids, guys. I have bag. the bags great all by yourself huh yep guess you're gonna have to get used to that oh my god you are so mean <laughs> at least i'm honest oh okay here we go okay you're not telling me the whole truth about you and emma are you son oh okay so now i'm the one who's not telling the whole story huh <laughs> oh well this is the bait i just gotta take jake oh Oh, sorry, I just got so distracted about that rhyme, I forgot what we oh, were... Oh, no, 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 uh, you, you were telling me how you totally have a thing for Ryan. Wait, are we talking about Ryan, the sailing instructor with the sexy brooding loner thing that totally doesn't do anything for me at all? <laughs> Knew it. <laughs> Who said I was hiding that? I'm not, I'm just saying, you know, I feel like if you really did like the guy, you would have made a move by now. So she really just dumped her ass, huh? I don't... Okay. Her whole thing is like, how are we going to make this work? Different schools, blah, blah, blah. My whole thing is like, you know, maybe long distance, blah, 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 blah. And she was just like, Jacob. She gave you the look, huh? Yeah, do not pass go. Man, she just got you wrapped all the way around that dainty little finger of hers. How does she do it? <laughs> No, oh, but I mean, seriously, come on, she's right. It's just like a stupid summer fling. What else did I think was going to happen? Uh, let's see. Uh, love, stability, engagement, marriage, house, kid, affair, kid, divorce, loneliness, child support, visitation lawsuit, mm. surprise reconciliation, emptiness, retirement, grandkid, 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 a uh, nursing home, and finally, dying in each other's arms and then being buried in each other's arms like those thousand-year-old skeletons they dug up in Rome or something. That kind in the ballpark? Oh, shit, I'm sorry. That was Ryan and me. Uh, let me see. Ah, here it is. Yours just says Roadhead. Oh, actually, that's just a generic all-men list. Oh, that seems legit. <laughs> Okay, so are we sure that this old rust bucket's roadworthy? <laughs> we'll take a look. It better be. One more night in the great outdoors might actually kill me. Hey, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Well, I haven't killed you yet. And you're still pretty pathetic. Hey, shut up. <clears throat> Don't uh, okay, ask me so, to do car um, parts. Total hypothetical, but if I was like a huge asshole and I wanted to break down the van so we'd have to spend another night here, uh, what exactly would I need to do? Well, you'd probably break the fuel line or, I don't know, rip out the rotor arm. And yes, that would make you a total asshole. Okay, and what does a rotor arm look like again? It's like an arm that's all rotary. You know, it's under the little black dome with the leads poking out. Jake. You do realize that even if we somehow did get stuck out here, one more night with Emma wouldn't make a difference. Trust me, Chick's made up her mind. Yeah. Sure. Guess we'll just have to find out.
I don't know, because in the future this is going to come into play. I can see this coming. Maybe if I just steal it instead of breaking something. Come on with me, buddy. I'll put you right back tomorrow. No harm, no foul. Up here, my dudes. Why do they look like they're up to something? Hey, Jacob. What? No, dude, please. D d d Go long. Oh, Nick. Boom. Oh, oh. there it is. Oh, Ooh. man, good sight. Ooh. Freak. Oh. Oh. Ooh, I wish Damn, I had some he got the moves. Freaks. I'm surrounded by freaks. <clears throat> oh, thank God. I'm mean, gonna get the whole no technology thing, but take me back, world. You would have thought Mr. H could have, like, charged up our phones, like, a little bit. Nothing's ever your fault, is it? <laughs> you know, you should really just save it for emergencies only. <laughs> Unless, of course, is being dumped <laughs> an emergency? Ha <laughs> <laughs> Ben. Okay, now I hate them. Uh, okay, well, at least I had a relationship this summer. Ooh, damn, Ooh. now we burn. Yeah, well, maybe not everyone is looking for a hook. Okay, 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 let's all put our little dicks away and get this show on the road, huh? Where's everybody else? Why, why would I know that? Dead. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you know stuff I don't. <laughs> Look, I don't, I don't even know how to respond to that. You say, Nick, you're way smarter than me, and you're a super hot stud who gets any cheeky ones. Okay, yeah, keep dreaming, Junior. Oh, I like her. Such super cool art. Why does she remind me of Maddie? Hey there, party bear. Status report? We are officially empty nesters. High five up top. Oh boy, you're about to get your phone back, aren't you? Let's go collect our bags and away from this mosquito-infested backwoods dump. Doors locked, bags inside. <sighs> Fuck me. Yep. Well, it's obvious what we have to do here. Find someone with a key? Shape our destiny. And by shape our destiny, I mean shape our way through this crappy lock and grab our bags. I want my bags. Okay, let's do it. We better not get into trouble. I won't tell if you won't tell. Mr. Hackett's gonna find out. So what? He'll just think it was a bear or something. Have you ever seen a bear in these woods? No, but that doesn't mean they're not out there. Fair point. All right, let's do this. On three. One, two, three! Ugh. All about the power of positive thinking. Why do I ever listen to you? Because I'm always right. Are you sure they're gonna think it was a bear? Oh my god, relax. It's not like we killed someone. All right, well, I'm just gonna take another look around, make sure we didn't miss anything. Go nuts. Oh, it's pretty. Aw. This was little Izzy's. I wanna play a game! <laughs> yeah, you can probably just stay here, you creepy little thing. Yeah, I don't I don't need Bonnie with where I am. Who is this person's name? 
Abigail. Okay. Why would this place be in the news? Hey. I have clues. I'm doing well. I'm doing well, guys. Why? Can't believe I'm actually gonna miss all those lumpy loose springs. What? What's that? <laughs> Again, I don't like the transition. But I love this person's hair. It's a crow! I must go towards the crow! Hey! You stop <gasps> that! Gonna be weird not waking up to Dylan's morning announcement. <gasps> I knew it, I knew it. I knew there was gonna be something. There's a reason I could go over here. <laughs> it is like so pretty. I am enjoying this. Room 10, okay. I will remember that. Can I go on the swing? Sort of. <laughs> Dylan, wait. Dylan. Scooter. <laughs> if no one gets that, that's fine. <laughs> Avoid door. I can't go in there. Is this like a park? What's this? No, it's not. That is my friend. Ready to roll? Sure. Let's do it. Finally. Time to let loose and vamoose this caboose. How are you so dramatic? Annoying. <laughs> Confident. It's just acting. It's what the people want. So you're faking it? I mean, in a way, faking it is just being yourself, but louder. Yeah. You should try it sometime. You never know who you might impress. No. <laughs> it's too late now, anyway. For what? You and Nick? You never know unless you put yourself out there. Oh, 
Nice steering, Tex. Jinkies. Oh, I love her. Okay, so hypothetically, if I were to put myself out there, what if he ends up being a dud? Kind of like you and Jacob. He's actually really sweet. Then why'd you quit it? Summer fling. We're going to school like four states away. I, he gets it. Yeah, sure. But that's us. You and Nick could be different. When you get his handle, hit him up. Oh, I already have his email. It was in the packet they gave to us on the first day. <laughs> email? Are you 93? What's wrong with email? I'm really gonna miss you, Abby. Oh, hold up! Oh, but the lodge is that way. Go right here. Why? Come on. Why are they like tea posing? One last victory lap around the camp. Okay, why not? Yes. Sure, what's the victory? Two months, no technology. I kind of thought it was nice to be offline. Ugh, I didn't. Plus, my subs need me. You know what? I actually believe you. Abby, was that a compliment? Your charm is infectious, what can I say? <laughs> I'd subscribe. You better. As soon as you get home, sub, share, smash that like button. The whole yeah, guys, okay, smash it! <laughs> oh no, you <laughs> I don't have the effort or like the confidence to tell people to subscribe to my YouTube channel. <laughs> my favorite spot? The fire pit? The island. Mad secluded, right? Oh, hardy is, hard. is that smoke? Yes, it is. Should we tell someone? Mm, it looks pretty contained. It's probably just Mr. H burning some stuff before, you know, he closes camp for the summer. Yeah. Speaking of which, we should we should probably, you know, get back. Oh yeah. Worried Nick's, you know, gonna leave without you. Well, no, they're probably like all waiting for us. Mm-hmm. Everyone's waiting for us. Everyone, yeah. Nick. Waiting for you. All, everyone, same. Haha. Ha. Don't worry, Jacob, I got you. I got a full tank of gas, so... Oh, fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, idiot. <laughs> Does nobody own phone chargers anymore? Hey, there's no signal out here anyways, dude, okay? This place is like patchy as balls. <sighs> Your balls are patchy? What? No. <laughs> it's okay, I'll just go get some juice from Mr. H before we go. And... Uh, you. <sighs> Hey, Nick. Hey, where were you guys? <gasps> Wouldn't you like to know? Ignore her, please. Let's go. Just gotta get these bags up on to the... Oh, hey, hey, here. Let me, um, let me get it for you. I can take care of my own bag, thank you. What? Are you sure? Because, I mean, it's really not that big she of a deal. She can take care of her own bag, thank you. We can both take care of our own bag, thank you. Cool. No. He's just he's just nice. Uh, uh Abby, do you need Yeah. Can I Thank you. Aww. Oh god, wait, he's wearing the Tommy in it t-shirt. Hey, has anyone seen Ryan? That's it, his name is Tommy well, from now on. I don't care about his actual name. His name is not Nick, that is Tommy. Somewhere. And Tommy that little girl is me. <laughs> what were you doing under there? Having a little me party? Uh, I was 
listening to a podcast, actually. Oh. To be podcast. honest. Nice, that's cool. It's it's fine. It I'm about? just being weird. Yeah, what's it about? Is it about me? You think I was listening to a podcast about you? Okay, if anyone here had a podcast about them, it'd be me. Yeah, if there was a podcast called How to Look and Smell Like a Butt. Oh my god, you are so childish. Really so look and smell like a butt. <laughs> no, it's a, it's a paranormal podcast. This episode was actually about this place, weirdly enough. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. The who of the what's it where now? <laughs> what's the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? The, the where you of what's it where now? Hag of quarry. Uh, if I did, would I be asking them ass? Tell her about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. I don't think she wants to know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. <laughs> oh, can we just please stop saying the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? It's just this campfire story for the kids. It's, um, there's supposedly an old woman who died in a fire a few years back. She haunts the woods looking for her lost baby boy. There are, like, reports of whispers or whatever, and, and this figure that floats around, you know, textbook ghost stuff. Some people say that if she catches you alone, she'll try to turn you into her son. Or kill you. Or something. I don't know. It's never really been clear. Anyways, Haga Haggett's Corey. You made that up. It's right here in the podcast, man. Cool story, bro. Seriously, though, you should have seen the first time you told the story to the kids at the campfire. They were scarred for life. I mean, not for <laughs> life. You gotta be careful with this stuff, man. This shit's true. Come on, dude, bullshit. What's the holdup, Hacketeers? Yeah, uh, uh, nearly done, Mr. H. We're up to it. Get those butts in gear. It's him. Sorry, Mr. H. Yeah, deliberate some luggage. Shut up. Maybe if somebody didn't spend so much time trying to press the ladies' ball as ghost stories. You asked. Ghost stories? The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Oh! <sighs> hey, you still have the van key, Mr. H? Well, yes, I do. Well, you know, I'd lose my head if it wasn't stuck on. Back to the office I go. Give me a hand, would you, Ryan? Oh, okay. Yo, Mr. H. What's up, DJ Dylan? Any chance I could get a little charge? I want to have some uh, tunes for the road. No can do. Cool, cool, yeah. No worries. Good man. Uh, no big deal. You can share my earbuds. He's cool, but everyone is so cool in this game. So, uh, Chris, I I'm actually glad we got a moment to talk. Uh, uh-oh. I'm not fired, am I? <laughs> no, 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 no. It's, um, it's just, you know, about the whole thing with, with the... Hold that thought, partner. I'm gonna have to take this. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, sorry. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Because kids are kids. You can only be so much of those. They're almost out of here, all right? You're cutting it pretty close. We don't want to have... Just hold your damn horses, all right? Everything's a okay on this end. Bobby and I are geared up. If he's in the area, we'll get him. This is a waste of time. You know what? I know it. No, should I have? He's gone quiet. Probably staying out of the way. Speaking of which, the longer you keep me on this damn phone, the longer it's gonna take me to get rid of these damn kids. Yeah. Of course. Adios. <laughs> Sorry, I, I wasn't... 
Uh, I wasn't listening. I, I was just like waiting. Like I mean, I heard. I, uh, I mean, I was. I didn't hear what you were. Saying. We're cool, champ. Just come on in. Sorry, I pushed you out like that. You, uh, you need a hand looking for the keys. Uh, no, end of summer, busy, busy. You know. Anyway, you were asking me. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it was just the whole animation school thing, what you thought I should do. Right. Y you know, listen, whether or not I should, like, leave my sister with my grandparents, since I'd have to live on campus, you know, and my mom's not exactly around, so I wouldn't want to leave Sarah on her own. You know, fam our family's small enough as it is. Well, family is important, Ryan. Dang it. Is everything okay? You got a hot day tonight? Oh boy. If you only knew. <laughs> so, uh, what, what did you need me for? You're one of my favorite counselors, Ryan. You know that. One of the good ones. But, do you know how many calls I get from parents, letter after letter? these terrified kids that they send home. Huh. I, I, I didn't realize that. Believe it or not, scaring kids away from sleepaway camp is kind of bad for business. So maybe just ease up on the ghost stories? Sorry. I, I didn't realize it was such a big deal. Gotta understand the repercussions of your actions, Buster. It's a big part of being a counselor leader yeah just stick to kumbaya next time okay what's that you guys don't do kumbaya anymore good grief i'm outgrowing my own cliches seriously chris what's going on i just want to get you guys safely out of dodge before the sun goes down Why? Why? It's getting dark, Ryan, and it's not safe to drive in the dark. And safety is the first step towards fun. Just give me a minute. Okay. Where in the good goddamn are they? Will you say goodbye to Caleb and Kaylee for me? They sort of just snuck off. Well, you'll see him again next year. Caleb works at the scrapyard during the off season, and Kaylee, well, she's still figuring out what she wants to do. She's got her whole life ahead of her. They both just come and go as they please, really. Teenagers, am I right? Actually, could have used the help packing up since we were short staffed. Hey, you guys seem to manage all right. But I'll tell them both you were sad you missed them. Unlocked the van, put the keys in my pocket, came in the office. Right where I left them. Uh -huh. Let's skedaddle. Make sure they're all ready to go. For real this time. Wait, how did you get your phone back before the rest of us? I never turned it in. You sure did turn it off before you handed it in, Dylan. Them's the rules, you noob. I try not to dwell on the past, man. Good. Because it's time to dwell in the minivan. Get on with our respective lives. Move it. Let's go. What's the problem? Ugh. Oh, dude, I don't know. I, I think there's something wrong with the engine, Mr. H. Yeah, I can see that. 
Yeah, dude, it's just like kaput. All right, let me try. What, dude? I'm telling you. All right, it's busted. Well, maybe you're doing well, it wrong. Well, maybe you're doing it wrong. The fuck, dude? Enough, enough, both of you. Shit, come on, right, come dude, on. Chill, chill, Let's go. dude. Damn it! I thought I told you kids to check everything. We did. It, it should be working. Yeah. Well. Coulda and shoulda doesn't mean it is, does it? Damn it! Okay. Okay. Uh, well, uh, look, it's not that big of a deal, okay? We'll just spend one more night here. No! No! Just stop. Let me think. Okay. Damn it. You're right. You're right. Yeah. What? Yeah, you're right. Hey, Brian. Come here for a sec. Make sure that everybody is inside the lodge for tonight. Lock the doors. No one in, no one out. No one. Got it? Okay. I'll be back first thing in the morning. And we'll get you all on the road. You just have to keep everyone inside. Can you promise me you'll do that? Yeah. Yeah, sure. We'll, we'll stay inside. And a boy. Lock the doors. And for God's sake, keep the noise down. So, what was that about? Yeah. Uh said to stay inside, that we're not leaving until the morning. Are you kidding me? Am. Are you kidding me? What are we supposed to do? Well, we should go inside, like he said. We could go inside until morning. Yeah. Or, or we could do something else. No, no. No, 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 no. We should really listen to what Chris told us to do. Of course. Uh, who cares what Chris told us to do? He's not our boss anymore. P-A-R-T. Why the fuck not? All right, it seems like the stars have aligned for us, no? Okay, okay, okay. One last epic bonfire blowout for all time. Oh, this is such a bad idea. Oh, dude. Fuck yes. I'm in, Nick. You're in. Yeah, I'm in. Dylan's in, obviously. My man. Caitlin? Yeah, okay. Em. Oh, Jesus. What do you say? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm in. Mr. Hackett seemed pretty insistent we stay in the lodge. Hi, just hi. hi. Welcome in. You know, like, um... This game has been amazing so like far. One of Ryan's stupid ghost stories. Why would he want to scare us? I don't think he was trying to freak us out, Jacob. I think he was really freaked out by something. Jesus Same. Christ. Chris seemed real serious about this, guys. Just say you're in, man. Come on, one last night. Yeah, dude, he won't even know. I, I promised. I no, 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 dude, dude. It's all good. All right, we get it. You know, you, uh, you don't want to disappoint Daddy. Whatever, man. It's gonna be fine, man. Trust me. It's gonna be chill. I don't trust you at all. All right, all right, all right. Hacketeers, 
party planning committee. Let's do this. Um, okay. First things first. <sighs> Nick and Abby, you will get some firewood. Uh, M and I will go to the stores for some supplies. And uh, Dylan, you just, I don't know, figure out how to charge the phones or something. All right, let's do this. Right. Why are you covered? I was hoping you'd come back to me. Let's see what you found. Temperance. <laughs> to be balanced. To consume in moderation. Or to indulge in excess. Temperance. Take it or leave it. But remember, sometimes... With temperance comes deferred gratification. There's more I can show you, if you like. Sure. I was hoping you'd say that. You'd better be going. It's still early and the moon is bright, but time won't wait. Not for those with a story to tell. Be careful. Look out for yourselves. And look out for my cards. <laughs> <laughs> 